Hey everybody, Leafy Concern here. Just thought it might be nice to make a little video update about where I'm at in Henry James. I am a professed lover of Henry James, even though I've only read The Turn of the Screw and uh, The Wings of the Dove in total. And The Wings of the Dove, of course, um, even though I read that in its entirety, it escapes my memory because a lot of it's really elusive and the sentences are really long and all. And recently I started reading this book, The American. This is like one of his first books, and I really like it a lot so far. I've just gotten to a midpoint in the book, like a good halfway point, a good stopping point, I think. It is about 244, page 244, out of 449 pages total in the book. There's also this notes section, which is really good, and I, this is really fun to read just on its own. It's really informative and good, actually. It tells you about what certain paintings look like that the that people are referencing, especially in the museum where much of this takes place, before either it's gonna become a tragedy or remain a comedy. And uh, I think it's just gonna remain a comedy. The characters are all really vivid and it's fun to imagine them being played by people who you see in TV and you like. Certain actors from this or that TV show or this or that old black and white movie would be really cool choices for the main American, the woman he's he's going for, the painter lady, her dad, the, the rich family that he's coming into contact with and being bewildering to. I think the reason you think that is that the dialogue scenes are so well written that it feels like a really good script. Good stage directions or really good little choices made by actors playing these roles. Um, the, char the main character of The American also has been just as fascinating philosophically as the book has been funny so far. Um, it, uh, <clears throat> he, he's very successful, but you don't get the feeling that he even cares. It's weird how his entire life up, in, uh, up, to, up to this novel, up to the events of this novel, have just, ha has just been um, this kind of uh, blind pursuit, and actually like a happily blind pursuit. Reflecting on it is something that's kind of new for this character and, and somewhat difficult, maybe. But also at times, given the length of certain speeches in the novel, it's not that difficult for him. And you kind of admire the character for his ability to reflect, even though he was depicted to you for a while as sort of dull. Th th that all these memories of his life up to this point have been sort of dull to him. Um, so far... Actually, it turns out I haven't underlined many sentence in sentences in this book. I think that's just because I really like the edition, um, this Penguin Classics, um, and it's like a really nice... Um, specimen of one with this somewhat old look, a kind of inky look, magic of of books where it's just ink that becomes things that you like to imagine. So these first scenes are really funny, so enjoy those too and have a happy reading week. I also like to make another dispatch when I when I finish reading it.